afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are. My name is Maki Nighty, artist, journeyman, and illustrator, and welcome you to page 29 of Maki Sketch Diaries. It's close to 30 pages now. Uh, before we get started, I do want to apologize as I, we skipped last week and um, wasn't able to finish in time, so we are going... I am definitely going to start making a conscious effort to really get these videos out much more consistently every single Monday from here on, especially now with channel memberships and going to be having me be more busy, producing more content for you guys and such. And I want to thank you all for that. So here we go with page 29, so close to page 30. And on top of that, uh, I may want to have to get apologies in advance because with this topic, it's kind of a similar topic I've talked about before in a previous guest story video, but at the same time, I don't know if I could be able to get my get my thoughts and feelings um, in the kind of the proper way or kind of the proper cadence. So you're gonna have to bear with me on this one. But uh, I am tying the, the the drawing into kind of what hopefully the, the drawing ties well into the topic of what I'm talking about here. Um, uh, let's go ahead and get right started into it. Um, so this, this topic kind of came from a lot of it, Twitter being Twitter. There's this, it's, 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 I guess where we can start, we'll start there. Um, there has been a lot, and I mean a lot of dissenting opinions and discourse in, uh, the most recent topic of you know, um, racial, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but basically, um, race swapping characters. I know there's, it's, it, it started with the, um, it's been an ongoing thing and, um, it really, really, really created a lot, a big amount of discourse recently, thanks to, um, the first trailer of Haley Berry's uh, Little Mermaid, uh, Disney's live action remake of the animated classic. Um, and then what also kind of went a little further was this whole rumor about um, actress Kiki Palmer playing Rogue in a future MCU X Men film. It's just a rumor, just like a. I've heard a lot of discourse from both sides and it's kind of it kind of inspired me to make this do this topic in a little bit um i i, I kind of went into it a little bit before when it, in regards to the situation with um black sands publishing and uh ripperverse so i won't go into that again but i want to add another topic that um, something that I guess it kind of ties into the art and ties into the creativity aspects as well. So like I said, it's, it's going to be, I'm, I'm probably going to be all over the place for the next 25, 26 minutes. So just bear with me on this one, but to kind of get, uh, to get the ball rolling, um, you know, there's been so much talk around little mermaid, um, the casting and then the rumor that was going on last week, um, as I mentioned, and it's, it's this ongoing thing that it's, I, I think it's just kind of changed my perspective on a situation like this on casting like this, because we've seen it happen, you know, so many times uh it's it's just it's just it's just become such a, a the norm it's become such expected and, and and i you know and admittedly i don't like that because it's like whenever you hear like another adaptation of say like a movie or a comic book or you know a video game or whatever i do hate that the first thing that kind of comes to everybody's mind or the one thing that gets to everybody's mind quickly than anything else is that, okay, which, okay, is there a redhead in this character? Is there a redhead in the scene? Um, it, who's going to be the, who's going to get the racial casting? And from what I've just, from what I've seen, especially with The Little Mermaid, it's just, 
I just don't care anymore. I think that's what it is. I just don't, uh, I don't, I don't really have any more feelings towards it because this has just become the norm now. This has just become the thing that, you know, we're going to have to accept and we're going to have to accept into our lives. We're going to have to accept all of this because it happens so often and it's often become the, the thing that people tend to expect early whenever a, a new film or TV show or video uh, uh, is announced. You know, we we could spouse on and on on and on and on about, you know, the 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 wrongs behind this, but it's it's not going to change anything. I've learned it's not going to change anything as such. So, you know, because there are already stars, people, you know, making, you know, making all these different claims of why it's this kind of like casting this kind of racial casting is necessary you know i i i stand by when i say no it's not necessary it's not it really isn't because it's you know you you make it sound like we were never able to um people uh, you know my race my skin color i was never able to resonate it, it takes a uh it's the old trick of like you know you take a uh it takes a uh a character of my skin color to be visible on screen for me to be able to resonate for me to feel represented and that's that's not that's not that's not my way of thinking i've i've said that I, i've kind of expanded this before in a previous sketch diary video that you know this this kind of whole entire mentality is something that i'm very vehemently against especially when it pertains to um me being uh me being a black man uh, a black artist and such like that um but then you know on the other side of the fence you know you always hear that you know we don't you hear that you know it shows that you know hollywood is this kind of situation these situations like this are showing that hollywood has no creativity and that you know you're just you're doing this for nefarious purposes you're not doing you're doing it's like the old saying is like the road to hell is paved with good intentions you're do, you don't have the, the the right intentions you're just doing this for you know uh representation diversity whatever you want to call it and it's like the whole thing is like why and it's like same as like listen if you think it's necessary then why not you know go out of your way and create you know original you know black characters original uh characters that could take off and it's always kind of that same argument of that they think or people do think that if we come out with something original it's not going to get as much traction unless it, it, it compared to if we race say we do a race swap of a of an established character and i my usually my counter argument is that you're just not showing that lack of creativity you're not showing you're, you're showing a lack of creativity you're showing a a uh a, you're showing a uh, just like you don't have any faith you know, it's, it's, you know, seeing the legitimacy in my characters, I have to bring that up. You, you're not, you're not seeing legitimacy. Really, you're not seeing legitimacy in your own creations. You're not seeing legitimacy. Like, you don't think the, the characters you're creating have any staying power when you say something like that. And it's like, I think it's part of the reason why I decided to draw this particular character because this character has from what i've seen gotten a bit of definitely got to gain some traction and the character that you're seeing that i'm drawing question is kimberly from street fighter 6 a student of guy who uses kind of him his similar style and i was at first when i saw kimberly i was like okay i kind of like this i kind of like this but the more i saw her especially in motion and especially with her trailer coming out i ended up really really liking this character a lot i think this is like the second piece of fan art i've drawn of kimberly 
just because she is so bubbly she is so you know has that uh, uh, you know i really like her outfit I, I there's a great style to it it's it's so much it, it is just like everything a lot of things about kimberly is just like she there's so much fun and joy behind what she does and that's what i get off of and it's just it's like just so much it has such of a a bubbly eccentric personality that it, it really oozes off the the screen so seeing her and seeing her trailer and seeing the, some of the, the some of some of the matches using her i was i was like man i i i signed up for the close beta by the way so i'm i'm looking forward to hopefully if i get in i would love to try out kimberly immediately just because she looks absolutely fun to play but um and it's part of the reason why i drew kimberly for this topic at hand because i think this is a this is a you know a a unique black character who is getting that attraction who is getting that attention and that people seem to really really like this character and i'm one of them and i think that she's become a shining shining example of you know what that uh, what the other side is saying that you can make a you know an original black character that can take off you just got to put the thought into it you just got to you just got to have confidence in what you're putting out you know and such like that my stance with the the race the whole race swaps and why i want to talk about this is because from the amount of discourse i've been seeing for the past uh one or two weeks on twitter because of you know uh, you know the, the the Little Mermaid live action trailer, and then the rumor of Kiki Palmer becoming Rogue. It's just I just don't. I, I just I just get the sense that there is simply not a a, a line or a, or a or a way for both sides to kind of find something to agree on or to come together on. It just the discourse is was just kind of unsettling to be honest and i'm just like it's just like even though i'm uh, even though i'm more against this kind of idea of casting it's the norm and i've understood that either side there is no middle ground it's just simply there's no middle ground when it comes to a topic like this a situation like this so in that kind of changed my own kind of perspective in that whenever I see a character, you know, uh, whenever I see an established character, you know, get a live action transformation and they do get, you know, really swapped, I have to look at it as I look at it now as, OK, can this actor or actress be able to capture the personality the feel of the character that they're uh, portraying down to every single last detail can they pull it off how is their history how are they able to be able to be capable to be able to do this that's where i have to see it and 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 on top of that whenever you know you hear about you know uh you know a a, a um a black or uh uh, a black or latino or um asian or just a non-white uh a non-white character a non-white uh actor or actress playing a uh, white character and for uh, swapping a, you know swapping a generally white white character i have to look at it as okay what's your intention are you did you did you intend to do this is what's your what's your intention what's your reason behind this is this like okay you see that this actor or actress has a legitimate C, legitimately be able to capture the feel of that character and bring that character to life on screen or is if it is or is it done for nefarious purposes such as you know doing it for representation diversity you name it the, the 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 buzzwords talking points identity politics essentially i have to look at it that way it's just like okay what's the intention because this is going to be the norm now 
And this is something that unfortunately we do have to accept. And you know, I I, I just look at it that way. I, I I just have to look at it that way now. It's just like okay, what's well, interesting because the thing is, is that over the years we've had so many uh so many incredible performances from uh actors and actresses who are able to portray white characters even though they're not white themselves you know one things one of the things that fall is fall back on is michael clark duncan's portrayal of kingpin in the uh ben affleck daredevil film um of course nick fury sam jackson although to be fair that was a, a one-for-one adaptation of his ultimate's counterpart and um uh, I guess another one would be um, another one would be Zoe Kravitz as Selena Kyle, Catwoman in uh, uh, the recent Pattinson Batman film. I thought she nailed Selena Kyle, Kyle's mannerisms and just her character perfectly. I thought she absolutely nailed it. And there's so many more and you guys will probably in the comment section could probably bring up more of that uh, too as well. So, and it's, that's where I that's where kind of how i see it now it's like what's the intention it's like is this off good intentions is this bad is this like you know uh, uh, identity politics intentions i mean what what's what's the reasoning behind this what's the decisions behind this you know can they surprise can they be able to perform the character i think you know Baylor is, i think she's a, a lovely singer i think she has a great voice let's see if she can be able to pull off the character of ariel pretty well you know, same for Kiki Palmer. So let's see if she can pull. If if she does get the role of uh, a rogue, you know, I think she would probably want for a fit be more fitting for a character like Storm. But if she's able to pull off the personality, pull off the feel of it, it's like okay, it's fine. I was like, okay. I mean, that's just how it is. Like, hey, it's a, at least at least you can give us a good performance, give us a solid something that's very true to the character. A performance that's very true to the character and able to show that you really nailed this character down to a T. You know, that's I guess that's how I see it. Um, something else, and, and something this kind of goes into another thing that I have been seeing on Twitter um, once in a while, and it's something that in returns to art and such. And I think this is. I think this is kind of disgusting, like seriously disrespectful and disgusting. And it's something that I see it happen a lot of times, especially when it comes to like Japanese artists and Japanese art or even Asian art in general, where you have this sect on Twitter, this, this area on Twitter where they think it's okay they think that they're so headstrong about their cause for diversity representation whatsoever that they will go out of their way to race swap or in this case color swap a uh, someone's art like i think the most famous one was when the uh was when um uh, someone did a very cute picture of like a human version of Sonic Tails and Knuckles uh, ahead of the, the Sonic 2 film and somebody on Twitter think they were you know so self-righteous that they would they, they changed Knuckles's skin tone from white to black and and you know be like you know they are fixed it for you having that kind of attitude now rightfully they did they did get a lot of blowback and backlash on Twitter because it was incredibly dis. Because regardless of how you feel or not, that's incredibly disrespectful to do that to someone's art. Period. You know, I wouldn't do that to your art. I wouldn't race swap your art. And it especially, and it's not just a, it's not just, it's not a redraw. They actually edited their own art. That's the disrespectful part. No matter what your cause is, it's you, 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 des you don't deserve it. You, you do not deserve praise for that. It's disgusting behavior. And, you know, we see that. I see that, you know, we see that often. Another often thing is the whole 
um let's let's uh the whole you know let's dogpile an asian artist or asian artist for taking a dark-skinned character and maybe portraying them as me having a lighter tone i we i saw that with uh, when nessa was revealed uh for pokemon uh sword and shield a couple years ago and that was the whole thing that they got back artists got backlash for maybe making nessa's uh skin tone a bit lighter but you know the people who were dogpiling on these artists have no have no idea on how lighting works how shadows work how lighting works when it affects skin tones you can have a dark skin character that can appear light skinned because of the lighting because of the lighting and that's that's something that they it's something that happens once in a while and it's and it probably happens more often than i think but it's like artists who get blowback just for that and i think that's just it's just it's just this i think it comes back to the fact that you know twitter is just a bad place <laughs> in general you know but it's just that you know the the self-righteousness behind it the thinking that you have good intentions when you do these kind of edits or when you're got dogpiling an artist for accidentally or you know a piece where they may have made a darker character look lighter in uh, their complexion it's it's disgusting it really is disgusting and and it's i put that on the same vein of the people who do think that it's the a great idea or who think that it's completely justified to you know race swap uh an, an english a race swap a white character and and before before i move forward i want to say that i i think that for for and i know that there's it's all it is a thing for uh like artists who do like black versions of like lighter care lighter skin characters that's fine because it's clear that you guys are doing that for fun. You guys are doing that for enjoyment, for all that good stuff. You don't you don't do that to like push a you know a message or try to be self righteous or posturing or trying to demand changes for these characters. Okay, granted there might be those on Twitter who do that, but for men generally who usually do those kind of uh those kind of those kind of art they usually do it for fun and such and that's why i don't i don't have a problem with that at all really so and some some characters some characters have some i see some really good artists arts uh, i see some really good drawings of uh of uh people who take uh who do darker skin versions of lighter characters it looks it looks, looks generally good so so you guys do it for fun you guys don't you you guys aren't being you know self-righteous posturing or trying to do it from an activism standpoint i think that's i think that's it's totally cool in my in my humble opinion so um i know this has been kind of going all over the place and i try to type you know i just it this is going to be a thing that's always going to be here to stay and it really is about how you kind of approach it yourself and how you know does this affect you yourself does this whole race woman and I, and I say this not just as to you know any any black artists or any uh um black people watching this video but to anyone in general you know how does this affect you do do you do you ignore it do you just kind of say whatever do you, or do you say something about it do you try to make a change about it how does it really affect you and how it comes down to for me i just i just try to keep going just deep doing what i'm doing really and just kind of just draw what you want to draw and draw what you enjoy drawing and you know just just is you know and if anything just don't get on twitter as much <laughs> that's, that's kind of kind of general thing because it's that's where the bad discourse is when it comes to entertainment as well and such like that it's just like take it take it how you want to take it and you know as uh as a friend of mine uh always says um uh, you know th the last thing i want to do is 
to yuck in your yum, you know, they're, you, you know, they want you, you know, if you enjoy it, more power to you and such is just don't, I would argue, just don't, don't try to force it on other people. Don't try to shame it. Other people who have, who may have legitimate criticisms towards it, who may not be a fond of this, you know, let them have theirs and, you know, you let the, don't, don't shame them for it. Don't, don't try to break them down for it. Don't go, don't try to attack them for it. It's, it's their thing. You can't change it. Everyone's minds about this stuff. It's a, it's a complicated topic and it's just something I do want to talk about. I, I, I hope I could be able to kind of ex extravagate this a bit more clearer than before. And hopefully I can get what, uh, what I really want to say out for this uh kind of uh for this discussion so i always like listening to you guys about this and just like oh and that's where i want to turn to you guys how do you feel about everything that we, i was talking about in this video your thoughts I always like hearing from you guys in the comments section about this and you know you know am i right am i wrong feel free to just let's have a respectable discussion as always so anyway that is it for me as always thanks for listening back and simply observes rather listen closely before i speak a word so that was page 29 of maki's guest hour we're so close to page 30 and i'm so happy to be here but let me know what you guys think about this in the discussion as always we'll try to be more consistent moving forward and also you're going to see something a little different here i want to say thank you to my new channel members now and uh if you guys want to be a channel member you're going to check that out you get, you're going to get access to exclusive art perks and stuff that i'll be starting um next sunday when makini live goes live again on october october so it's gonna be a lot of fun like i said thank you guys so much to my channel members you guys are freaking amazing and let me know what you guys think in the comment section as always and you know like share comment subscribe ring that bell for notifications for any for all future content so you never miss out as always i am mockney 90 our streaming and illustrator and i'll see you all next time for another video until then take care much love and never stop drawing